Hello, welcome to the sixth devlog video for my game, Kijimin Windborn Kin. As you can see, there are many ships now. The player can pilot their entire armada at once. There's even a armada manager, and we will get into that in a moment. First, uh, we're going to take a look at the inventory. And here is a list of all of the uh, list of the currently available permanent fixtures. So all of these are here. And we're going to use them for our testing. So I'll show you what we got here with the Armada Manager. So it gives you an Armada overview of all the ships. Uh, you can have up to 10 ships in your armada. Scrolling through, it shows all of the stats for each ship. And I have these in increasing order. I'm gonna, uh, I can modify the save file. I'm going to use that for ease of uh, testing purposes. But I can click on any one of these ships. And it'll show in the armada overview uh, what the ship icon is, the uh, graphic for that ship, the description of the ship. And if I click on mod modify lo loadout, it'll bring us to a secondary page with all of the equipped uh, features on, uh, equipped fixtures on the ship. So each ship has six inventory slots, uh, one for armor, one for nacelle, one for the sail material, one for cargo protection, one for passenger comfort, and one for stealth and evasion. And a player can click on any of these entries, and it'll give you all of the equipable uh, materials for that type. So if I go out and go here, and see that I can uh, equip Capricia and Silk, click on it, and I'll go into equipped fi uh, fixtures back here, and use three cargo capacity, which is what happens when you equip the feature. Go back here, you see one fi uh, fixture has been installed. So you can go in here and unequip it. There you go, get your cargo back. And you can do that to any of the ships. You see that I have a, I'm gonna go in here again and modify loadout. I have all the equipment in the uh, fixtures list. I'm going to go ahead and equip a red gym and engine. You can equip up to four of these on a vessel. You'll see that each time I equip one, it gets 25 speed faster. And it looks like I maxed out my cargo capacity here. So. Here I have a test ship that is very high stats wise. So I can equip everything. So this is what a fully equipped ship looks like. I can take the radar reinforcement off the ship and go migrate it over to another one. If I want to do that. So that's how all the equipment management is going to be taken care of in game the uh, ships move at the speed of the slowest uh, ship in the armada so if we were to return back to main game main game they're pretty slow most of the ships are outrunning the armada pretty easily because you can't travel faster than the slowest ship in your armada. What we can do is go and just equip a bunch of red, red gym and engines to all these ships, or at least the slow ones. So let's look at our speeds, 100, 100, 100, 150, uh, 100, 100, uh, 75, 75. So let's go in the modify. Get some engines on here. Make them nice and fast. 
Do the same thing with this one. How many engines we got left? Uh, three more. Try to get the speed up to 125. Let's modify loadout. Let's see, 100, 100. Don't think I have enough engines. Get the very slow ships. We turn back, and I am now traveling a bit faster. About. Oh, twice as fast as I was before. Some of these ships are, are quite fast. On the overworld map. But yeah, that's the entire um, Armada management system done. The player can modify the save file and hot swap load it at will. Uh, I'll actually do that right now. Um, see I have a wooden hull here and uh, I can uh, uh, change this real quick so let me do that what you can't see is me editing the save file right now but I am doing that so I need to find the uh, first sloop with all of the stuff on it. Just uh, come here, put on uh, Redart reinforcement. So I there we go. I went ahead and edited the save file. And one of the cool features about this game is that I can just press Y. And it'll hot swap load everything without me having to restart the game. So that's cool. And you can edit save files in, uh, in real time. So that's interesting. But aside from that, I have uh, some quality of life stuff going on. Uh, don't know why they ended up over there. Oh, it's because I, uh, I loaded in the uh, save file. So I teleported backwards. But it didn't move the rest of the ships, so I guess I need to fix that. Right? Um, but yeah, um, this is the game as it is so far. The next update should bring a splash screen and a, a bunch of save load features. So that'll be nice to have. Uh, it'll finally look like a a game. Uh, have a a main menu and all that. After which we get to work on Mercantile. Once Mercantile is done, the game will be air quotes playable. It'll have a uh, gameplay. People will be able to go to uh, port cities and make profitable trades back and forth, uh, spend time doing that, uh, use the, the port services and it'll be a trading simulator without any events so it'll be boring but uh, it will be playable uh, after the mercantile uh, once that's done I can start the real uh, gameplay part which is the event handling and the player will have a lot of things to do at that point so yeah this is the update uh, sixth devlog dev wait for the se seventh Okay, thanks, bye.